so hi guys assalamu alaikum i hope you guys are doing great i am doing great by the grace of god i'm recording my video in the dark and it's something that i couldn't wait to what whatever i want us to discuss is something that i felt like i couldn't wait to go to the house and maybe record the video i just came from home it's late night around 9 9 9 p.m at uh, at night i was working uh in the mid shift and when i was driving and i stopped and i saw someone tag me my friend had tagged me in a post in tuko that was posted one hour ago about a lady in australia who committed suicide and she had left a note the reason that she committed suicide is because she couldn't handle the way the family back at home in Kenya was giving up too much pressure to her uh, and i think she was the, the the breadwinner of the family and the pressure that was coming to the family so i thought this is something that need to be discussed especially to those people who who think like everyone who is abroad they are doing great and uh, there's so many judgment judgments there are so many um expectations from uh, people at home um for those people who are staying in the big cities like Nairobi Mombasa or those people who are out of countries uh, there is so many expectations that people have in their mind and people will judge will will continue judging people who are staying abroad and they don't know what situation you are going uh, you are going through for instance like now in the covid session so many people have lost jobs and um, they are trying to figure out what next you know and people still at home they're expecting you to perform miracles and this goes mostly to the families i don't know about other people's family but this is something that people need to sit down and uh, discuss uh, first of all it's not rosy it's not that much rosy everywhere people doesn't does people think does people sit down and try to to ask themselves what is this person doing abroad what what do they do for a living you know and what do do it's it's sad it's a sad situation you know and this comes because of the expectations from people and i also ask myself okay these people that you stand with the so called families who are giving you this much pressure now this lady is gone she's gone she's gone forever and they cannot even be able to repatriate her body back to kenya she's going to end up like uh, they said that she's going to be cremated so they will bury the ash she's gone her story is gone it's gone forever because she couldn't handle the stress anymore it was like too much for her so these things happen and so many people end up committing suicide others they just go crazy because of the pressure and i keep asking myself who in your family can take a bullet for you those people you support so much those people you send all your money even you don't have saving you don't have even something tangible you can show uh, in the process of uh, of changing the name of you, of your family i i keep i i want you to ask yourself who can take a bullet in your family for you for instance if you're dead today most most people here like let me just i like talking about doha and gulf most people here have kids they have children what if today you are no more there do you have anyone in your family who can be able to stand in the place of you for your kids those people you sacrifice so much a lot for do you have anyone who can shield who can stand a bullet for you and for your kids it's so it's so it's so demoralizing it's so depressing it's so hard it's so painful i wish people could understand how much difficult it is staying abroad for instance now in gulf the temperature now is at 45 to 50 degrees there is that brother who works in um, there is that uh, brother or sister who is working as a as a security guard in the malls um there's those working in the construction site at this temperature then you are expecting her to i don't know to make her, i don't know how you want people at home how do you expect these people to survive 
it's so heartbreaking. I wish you could just ask yourself one or two days, what is these people doing in abroad to make to make life better for their families? I wish people would stop judging people for not even like, because the expectation is like, okay, you are abroad, your family is, uh, is supposed to stay a, a certain kind of lifestyle. My friend, Apana, it's not, it's not, it's not everyone who is staying abroad has got everything fixed. And for those who staying abroad, and for those who are staying abroad, my brothers and sisters, ask yourself, ask yourself, those people you take care of, those, that family you are taking a bullet for, if, do you have anyone who can take a bullet for you? Much love and God bless you. May God make it easy for all of us, inshallah. And may we never go home in coffins. For suicide, for any disease, or for depression, or for anything. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it everything easy for us. Much love and God bless you. Ma